Oh yeah, black sun in the hizzle. Oh, the shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Angel Snuff Nuff Seven. Y'all check his show out. He's actually doing a live right now. Damn. So, real quick, I'm gonna just give a thought for today, and then we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a do live. I'm gonna try to go over there and just stream his show if I can. Angel, I don't know. I still don't know how to do that. So, anywho, um. Freedom versus equality. Freedom versus equality. Um, freedom is so many levels of freedom. Hey, twin, what's going on? Shout out. Hey, I want to do a real quick thing, and then I want to, uh, how do I, I guess, I don't know if I could do it on my phone, but I want to bring up Angel's stuff and just do a dual, uh, dual stream, man. I didn't know Angel had that show lined up. That's actually a good show. Um, equality, equality. So when you're dealing with an economical system, um, freedom and equality can't coexist. When you think of equality and egalitarianism and all that stuff, you think of everybody on even playing field, everybody get paid the same, everybody having the same talents, everybody having the same type of skills. And the reality in a free world is that that's not a reality. An egalitarian society, egalitarian utopia does not exist in the free world. The best economical system to fit this free world is capitalism. Meaning you have a business, you can compete with others, you can set your price, you can choose to work, you can choose not to work. That, my friend, is freedom. Now, you have people that will disagree with that, and that's fine because we're not a, a monolithic people. It's really nothing to debate. You know, um, this egalitarian society that uh, many strive for, the system, the, the economical system that fits that is socialism. Now, history is not black sun. History has shown time and time again in every single country, every single country on the planet, that socialism has not worked, has not. Even the Soviet Union has borrowed from the United States. It has. So um, we can talk about Honduras. We can talk about Africa. We can talk about um, you pick a socialist state, a country, and I'll show you where it's failed miserably. England. Even partial uh, mixed economy parts of socialism has failed miserably. Margaret Thatcher, not Margaret Sanger, Margaret Thatcher has said capitalism, no, socialism doesn't work because you eventually run out of other people's money. Let me say that again. Let me say that again. Socialism doesn't work because eventually you want out of other people's money. So, when I talked to Angel, Angel's not done said, shout out to Angel. I asked Angel one simple question for this Foundation of Mississippi campaign. I said, how about, how do you feel about if you don't work, you don't eat? He said he agreed with it. I'm sold. Solid foundation. Solid foundation. As long as that solid foundation is there, I can back it. I can take it. I, I can. I can. I like. Like Angel said, I can defend it without Angel even being there. I prefer, out of respect for Angel, to be there, 
because, you know, it's his idea, his baby. But at the end of the day, and shout out to MD20, you know, and me and the MD20, man, we working men. And MD said it's not for everybody. So who are my people who do I align myself with? I align myself with people who know that if you don't work, you don't eat. If you do not know this as a human being, forget color. If you don't know you don't work, that you don't you don't eat, you are not only a bum, you are a dangerous individual. If you don't work, you don't eat. If you don't work, you don't eat. I've, I've said this in front of many people. I don't care who it is. I teach my kids that. I stand that by that 100%. You don't work. You don't eat. Now, people wonder why I'm so anti-religion. I'm mad at God, this and that. (sighs) Religion teaches us to not lean into our own understanding, meaning you don't rely on yourself. When you lean into your own understanding, you have to rely, you're you're self-reliant there or as Yango would say, self-determination. Religion, no, religion, all Western religion, whether it be Islam, Christianity, Judaism, teaches that some Messiah is going to come and whisk you away to the utopia. And unfortunately, many people are literally waiting for that nonsense. And I don't only put black people in this... uh, state of retardation with the whole waiting on some sky daddy to come down and take whisk us off into this utopic land where black people don't have a board again. You got people, hell, all the way in England that have this same type of sorry-ass mentality. I hope y'all can hear me. Hey, twin, if you can hear me good, man, put a one in the chat. I did somewhat of a mic check, but I don't know. Don't trust Bluetooth. You know how that go. But I just wanted to do a show real quick because it was on my mind. I didn't even know Angel was doing a show. Hey, Metal Cap. Hey, y'all. I'm going to be back over. Yeah, hey. By, and t- Angel's having a, uh, yes, okay. Angel's having a stream, so I'm not going to be long because I do want to go back to that stream. But um, I'm so glad now Angel sees that it wasn't me attacking him, that it was Yanga. And um, and the cheerleader that attacked him on his ideology, because I'm I'm open for listening. When he when when once Angel said you ain't got to be religious, I said okay, he's tapped into reality here. Okay, okay, let's see what he, what he's talking about. Let's see if he's utopic. And the man Angel comes off, you know, he's not down with the utopia, and I'm down with that. Now, if you are religious, I don't care what type of rationale you have at the end of the day, in the back of your mind, you're still looking for this utopia, this utopic land, this land where everybody ain't got to work no more. You don't work, you don't eat. You don't work, you don't eat. And somewhere along the line, there's going to be a conflict with you don't work, you don't eat. Because I, I hear people saying, yeah, I agree, black son, and not in the head, yeah. But when it comes down to it, let's just say the Mississippi campaign come to it, and people come here, It's going to shine the light of whoever wants to is serious about it. They're going to have to work because it's not a utopia. Angel never said it was going to be a utopia, and I respect Angel for that. And therefore, again, I, I, man, my hat's off to Angel. I'm down with that because it's just, I mean, you're hearing too many utopic dreams, you know, because Angel's brash, you know, people like, oh, Oh, you know, he's not selling a utopia. Oh, see, in my land, 
we can do this and, and make it sound all utopic and shit. The reality is, man, if nobody ain't working on land, ain't nobody going to eat. It, or you're going to get them to that land and you're going to enslave them. But no, a Mississippi campaign where the brother uh, MD was talking about, man, we have discrepancies, whatever. We'll use the local, you know, laws and all that stuff. So you must be free your mind to understand Operation Exodus Mississippi. 100% twin, 100%. And freedom, but see, people, people are stuck in this egalitarian, we're all equal mentality. And for some reason, equality and this equal society, this equal utopia has been replaced with freedom. In fact, I would go as far as to say that this egalitarian utopia and freedom are polar opposites of each other. Polar opposites of each other. You know, um, I, uh, I mean, I, I mean, it's really, I mean, this Mississippi campaign is really exposing a lot, man. It's exposing a lot. Like I said, when I when I talked to Angel, said, man, if you got, you know, if you don't work, you don't eat. He agree with that. I said, okay, all right. <laughs> now we're gonna see who's down with, because now Mississippi campaign has a, if you don't work, you don't eat foundation that I can point to and said, ah, yes, that's what I was looking for. Now, what that does is automatically knock out the theocratic religions. It knocks it out automatically. Because in these theocratic religions, it's like, what, what's the difference? I mean, okay, we live, okay, in Mississippi, we, we're still in the same system. You know, we still got running water. We still We don't have to build to where we're at right now. Think about what I'm saying. We don't have to build Mississippi campaign up to where we're at right now. Right now, we have running water. Right now, we have plumbing. We have functioning toilets. We have internet. We have running cars. We have roads. So you don't have to build up Mississippi campaign to catch up to where we're at now. So that means in Mississippi campaign, I can get on the internet, get on my Bluetooth, just like I'm doing right now. You go off into the aisles of foreign land in the middle of the woods, well, let's see, you got to build up your toilets, you got to build up your roads, you got to build up your sewage system. Oh, you got to build up hospitals. Oh, women, you hear that? You got to build up your hospitals. Oh, and for feminine hygiene, sisters, it won't be none of that in, in, in this utopic land. That's why I say sisters ain't going for that shit. Mm -mm, no, sir. And then women with children ain't going for that. Diapers, food, you know. And I know because I, I, I battle with a lot of you meat eaters. I battle with a lot of you meat eaters. I battle with y'all. Y'all know we fight tooth and nail on the veganism. In this utopia, there's no refrigerators. There's no supermarkets. So now, yo, 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 meat instinct, your meat eating instinct is really going to be put to the test. Because them animals are fast and they can hear you coming before you, you know what I'm saying? So now you got to put, this is not to y'all, this is just, this is just to people in general. So when I say meat eating, if y'all eat meat in the chat, don't get offended. I'm just saying in general. So when I say this, don't get offended. This don't account for twins. This don't account for middle cap. Nobody in my chat, because y'all know what time it is. But general people who are going to see this message, if you are a meat eater, it's going to put your fat ass to the test. Okay? Meaning if you really love that meat, that steak, or whatever, you got to fucking hunt for that shit. You think going to the gym and getting on the treadmill, you think you out of breath? Try to catch goddamn elk or an impala or a deer. Try to catch any of them animals, you're going to be out of breath. 
You're going to burn calories trying to catch just that meat for that day. Let me say it again. You're going to burn a lot of calories trying to catch that meat for the day. Just to divide up little chunks of meat like your ancestors did, okay? Because your ancestors in Africa didn't have big old giant steak dinners. Well, a lot of y'all ancestors don't even know what obesity is. Obesity is going to the refrigerator and eating as much meat as possible because you're dealing with factory farming that didn't exist in ancient Africa. Your ancestors didn't have no concept, meaning you had to eat that meat that day. You had to divide it up amongst the village, so you got a shred of it. Most of the time you were eating carbs. Most of the time you were eating vegetables, fruits, and whatever was on the tree because you were burning too many calories. Oh, truck is on fire. Damn. Get that truck off the road. We don't need traffic buildup. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to work. See, I, 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 I really didn't come on here to give, give y'all my, um, my vegan rant. So I apologize, but in this life, but 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 it, but, it, but it plays a part though. I don't want to go on the vegan rant, but it's a reality. The reality. So people already don't like Angel snuffing up things when it says reality. See, on Earth you can make that spooky dookie. Reality on Earth temple, but when you say reality, now you got some realism involved, and you've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. You better get this fucking Come on, my goddamn Well, y'all about to see some road rage right now. Live on goddamn YouTube. Get some road rage. You dumb motherfucker. Fuck you. Wake up, you dumb bitch on the damn phone. God damn. I'm on the phone too, but I'm I'm driving. I'm driving. And I, I got it. I'm legal. I'm legal, y'all. Headset, phone holster, I'm totally legal. So don't be like, oh, black son, are you on the phone too? And I've had people even stupid ass comments like that. As long as in Georgia, you got the headset and the holster, you're good. Anywho, I get sidetracked. So back to the, um, back to the reality temple on earth, man. Yeah, that Angel is dealing with reality when he talks about working and eating. Sound low. Oh shit! How about that, Trevor? How's my sound now? Cause uh, I don't know this thing. This Bluetooth, Trevor. Again, Trevor, hit a one if you can hear me. I apologize if this Bluetooth is acting up. I really wasn't going to do your show from the truck because of the technical issues, but y'all know how I get a topic, man. And I, uh, oh, okay. So it was was it just a piece, not in front of my mouth? Maybe that was it, Trevor, but um, I'm not going to be long, Trevor, but let me just, yeah, let me get back to the topic since you can hear me. I'm going to utilize what I can. Again, freedom and angelic. You know, the word freedom, of course, sounds good, but when people hear the word egalitarian and, and equality, that sounds good, too, until you put it into practice. Once you put that into the practice, it don't sound so good. Once you apply it to an economical system, it don't sound so good. Because now you got to apply it to economical system. And we are not all equal. Like, we are not all trained on driving trucks. We're not all trained on doing brain surgery. We're not all trained on doing dentistry. So, therefore, these people with these specialized skills have to go to school and they need to give it a different wage. They get different wages. So what are we what are we protesting? What are we having a revolution over? What are we I mean, the basic fundamentals, you don't work it on eat. Now, Angel mentioned a thing where it was so brilliant. He said we don't even take in consideration. Black people are so spoiled. We don't consider the 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 sewage jobs, the dirty jobs. Like, who does those? There has to be an incentive to do those type of jobs or else nobody would do it in an egalitarian society. Nobody would do it. Especially here in America, man. Black people, I keep saying black people, I got to get out of that happy. People in America, people in America are so spoiled 
that if you set up this egalitarian society, this socialist economical system, nobody's not going to want to do the dirty jobs. No one. So then at that point, who takes out the trash in this egalitarian society? Who takes out the trash? So therefore, now this socialist system is bad for the environment because nobody's taking out the trash. We have to have incentives, and right now, capitalism provides that. Capitalism provides incentives to do jobs. You don't work, you don't eat. You don't work, you don't eat. So there's always jobs, but everybody don't want to do these certain jobs, you know, but these jobs need to be done. Like I said, trash pickup, uh, sewage maintenance, you know, um, I don't know, prison maintenance. There's jobs that are required. Um, hell, even cleaning out homeless shelters and all that. There's jobs that require um, that require cleaning and just if it's a dirty job that requires cleaning, there has to be incentives to do these jobs. And right now, capitalism in America has one of the best because, um, you know, the hospitals in other countries look like the county jails here in America. In fact, it would be an insult to the county jails because a lot of our county jails are clean. Not all of them. Some of them, some of them are nasty. Let me, let me just, I'm not glorifying no damn uh, jail. Well, let's just, okay, let's just say the prisons are cleaner than a lot of these countries' hospitals. Okay, in these former, so uh, I want to say socialist or even current socialist countries. So when y'all talk about revolution, like a lot of them, oh, hold on, Straight Talk Trevor says, our people do those tasks now, so what's the difference if we had our own? Good question, Trevor. The difference is, in their mind, and the people selling them that bullshit, like these the theocracies, is that somehow they're slick talking. It's just like when a person comes on here who is religious and tries to slick diss me, like those California con artists. They talk real slick and they try to talk, talk intelligent. They're con artists at the end of the day. And there is no difference, but they try to project this utopia. They project this utopia like we're going to be living in the Garden of Eden. You know, because in the Garden of Eden, in the Bible, it talks about Adam and Eve, and they just ate for the fruit. All they had to do was just walk around naked, and that's it. Like, life is grand. Like, they didn't have to do anything. And so, in the mind of the religious person, this is the promise that Yahshua, Jesus, and all these other spooky dookie characters are going to take them back to that in their minds. And so when a person comes along and talk about, oh, see, I know the proper interpretation of the scriptures, and their mind is like, nobody has took me to this utopia, maybe this is the one. This person talking all this beautiful, high intelligent words is going to take me back to the utopia. Forget Black Sun, he's swine. He's an atheist. He He's definitely not taking us to the utopia. No, I'm not. <laughs> and neither is Angel. Angel is not taking y'all to no utopia. Angel is taking y'all to a place where there can be agriculture, uh, agricultural benefit. Um, uh, let's see, agricultural benefit, uh, land benefit, building up houses benefit. It's a, it's a, it's, as Angel said, it's a place where people with the entrepreneurial spirit can go, meaning the working class, and build, and build. And the competition won't be as steep as if you're in, a, in an Atlanta or a New York or a California where the city is just so saturated. 
you know, capitalism. Now there is a downside to capitalism, but it's 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 better than any um it's better than any socialist setup. Okay? It's better than any theocratic setup. I say that to say this that Mississippi would provide more construction work or I don't know, jobs. I can see it based on just the plan that Angel and M D talked about. Let's see what Trevor's saying. I believe the Garden of Eden was separate from the rest of the world, meaning mankind inhabited it the world and Adam and Eve looked after the garden. Right, Trevor. So that Garden of Eden, in most people's minds, I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, Trevor, in the Garden of Eden, you didn't have to work. Garden of Eden is a utopia. Garden of Eden is just the perfect place. I mean, yeah, because the Bible says the Garden of Eden was a perfect place. It's Abrahamic religion, so that means the Muslims believe that bullshit, too. So you don't have to work. It's this perfect place. You don't, you know, the Messiah and whoever talks the Bible the sweetest and in the most intellectual way will take me back. Oh, he's so he speaks so well and intellectual. Oh, he's educated. Even though no, they're just con and, and learn how to just talk the talk. Especially the ones up in Berkeley, California. They learn how to talk that talk and then they think you know, Californians up north are so arrogant, they get amongst the rest of the niggers and think that they're in you know the rest of the niggers are inferior. And so the thing is, is that this utopic land, like, no, nobody knows the Bible because none of y'all have taken these people to the utopic land. I got the answers. I can take us to the utopia. Now, whether these people, these con artists, then I'm going to say con artists because I don't think they believe that shit. But let's just say they believe that shit. If they believe that shit, they're mentally ill or they're con artists. So it's like you're between a rock and a hard place. You're either mentally ill because God has taught, nobody has interpreted God's word except for you. You're mentally ill or you're a con artist. Me being from California, I think they're con artists. That's what I think. So, let me see. Trevor said, correct, they weren't cursed with work until after the eating of the fruit. But see, Trevor, this is why, ooh, see, this is a slippery slope. This is a slippery slope because I know you believe in the Bible. And I'm not going to even touch that, brother, because I know, you know, you believe in the Bible, so I'm going to leave that alone. The world we live in now, you don't work, you don't eat. And somehow... Somehow, Trevor, this has been translated into, and in this land, I don't work, line on lead. This is the utopia, utopia on earth. Like somehow this has been translated that there is a utopia on earth. You know, um, I hear people talking about, oh, the system is, you know, the system is corrupt and don't want this and that. Neocolonialism. Let me read your next comment before I say what I'm going to say. It says you got to fire this up later when we have time to dialogue. Okay, Trevor, what time? What time? Shit. Now, ooh, what time, Trevor? Please let go. Let's go there. I think the Bible is allegory. Okay, that's fine. No, no, Trevor, that's cool. When you say the Bible is allegory, I'm cool with that, brother. I have no problem with that. People keep, you know, well, only the con artists because you're not a con artist. This excludes you, Trevor. Only the con artists will say shit like, oh, black son, you hate God. Like fucking, I'll just call the names keep down confusion. Like Akma, no, is it Akmalak or fucking Battle Axe? Uh, Akmalak. That's his goddamn tactic. Oh, oh, you hate God. I'm just like, look at this tactic, bro. But, you know, I, I let it slide because it's, it's, 
Oh, geez. My thing is, whether you believe in God or not, one thing that me and Trevor can agree on, because Trevor's a working man, is you don't work, you don't eat. We can agree on that. And we can also agree is there is no land where the black people form it, whether they decide to have a socialist system, because again, Margaret Thatcher said, socialism doesn't work because you run out of other people's money. Meaning like, let me just say like food stamps. You know, when people work, they take a portion of those taxes and give to people who are not working food stamps, or you either uh, been on a job, don't have a job no more, now it goes toward work, uh, unemployment benefits. I don't get, get into that right now, but what I am going to get into is that this never, never land that they talked about that they want to put up against Mississippi campaign and Mississippi campaign, he agreed. You don't work, you don't eat. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that reality. But all these other places, man, I, I'm I'm just not getting it. And and they talk about a corruptible system. I mean, I mean, people they they will paint the picture paint the narrative and all that stuff, man. And let me tell you something. Every system is corruptible. Every human being is corruptible. So we're not going to play that. Even your religion teaches you that no man, or I mean in Islam or Christianity, that there is no perfect man. So that means if there's no perfect man, then there is no perfect system. Because system is made by man. Okay? Man created capitalism man created socialism man created the borders they created america they created germany africa they created all these places okay so it sounds like me the people that create these theocracies they want to break away from the rest of the world and they want to be on top because i'll be damned if they come up to me and say they not corruptible okay just for the simple fact you want to rule people under a um, theocracy is is corruptible because now you're now you're telling me that God speaks to you and that only you know the interpretation. Come on now. That's why I I, I say these people talk about equality, but then. We're only, but when it comes to the word of God, we're not equal because you're interpreting the Bible. You choose, but your righteousness, no, later for that, later for that, later for that. And I don't care how well you intellectualize and try to sound all intelligent and, oh, oh, look at Black Son, he's getting emotional. Yeah, because I see the bullshit. I know how theocracies work, and I know how con men from Northern California work. So you're talking about two things, being a con artist and theocracies. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Trevor, yeah, I do want to, um, I do want to do a show from the house because, like I said, this is just a spur of the moment and I'm uh, always a little worried because of the Bluetooth. You know, I don't trust Bluetooth. I don't trust Bluetooth as far as I can take it off and throw it. Or even drop it. I ain't gonna even say throw it. I can't trust as far as I can damn take it off my take it off me and just drop it. I don't I trust Bluetooth that much. So um with that being said, um everybody go over to uh Angel's Dump Up channel, he's doing a live right now, so we're gonna head on over there. Um I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about um Trevor